One Foot Flipper. Hi, Paige here, the One Foot Flipper. It's Friday morning, and I think this has been the worst week I've had in six months on eBay. Right now, I am only at just over $1,500 last seven days. My normal amount for seven days is $3,000 in sales. So I'm $1,482 below on my last seven days. Now my 31 day, which is normally I like to be at 12,000, is only down $330, but it's only a matter of time before that last seven days scrolls by, by to affect that last 31. So hopefully I can get some better items in. I've been really working on records the last week and I'm not in the best spot in that huge record collection I have. It's a lot of, <clears throat> I'm hitting 10 really, you know, 10, three to $5 records for every decent one. That, that'll improve later. I'm just not in the greatest spot in the collection, but it's definitely slowing down my, uh, my sales because I'm not putting in great stuff. Oh, the dog has come to visit. Oh, there she goes. Oh, prosthetic leg. I don't think I've ever showed this thing. Not wearing it at the moment. I wish I could wear this thing all the time, but my fake knee sticks out so far past my real knee that it gets in the way of everything. It hits everything, and the foot doesn't touch the ground in a when I'm in a normal sitting position, so pain starts to build up. And there is no fix in that unless they want to cut my leg off higher. And that's doctors and pretty much never approve that unless it's medically necessary. And since in my case it isn't, I'm just stuck with knees being in different spots. And I've got a quite cheap prosthetic leg. Cheap is relative, of course. Like this part here, the part that my leg goes into, that thing cost $8,000. And if I lose or gain any significant amount of weight, I've got to pay for another one. Sure, it is technically covered by insurance, but have you looked at the uh, what your insurance costs as far as your deductibles? I'm paying most of that $8,000 if I lose or gain any significant amount of weight. And then the knee itself, I have one of the cheaper ones because I wasn't super mobile when I got approved for it. So they pretty much only approved me for the cruddiest one on the market, even though I'm super more mobile than that. Uh, my prosthesis say I'm probably the most mobile person he has that's below, that's above knee. But I've got a leg, like, I've got the knee, though, for someone who is, you know, can basically make it from the bed to the wheelchair. But once again, it's one of those things I could go through the process to get approved for it all, but ultimately I'm going to end up paying for it because the five grand or whatever, actually the much better knees cost way more than five grand. That's like a $5,000 one. But the good ones are like twenty and $30,000 and they have microprocessors and electric motors and all sorts of weird stuff. This thing is basically just a balancing beam that lets the bottom of my leg swing and hopefully I don't fall down. Haven't fallen down in a long time. The reason I'm talking about this is just <clears throat> because a lot of disabled sellers have problems that other sellers don't have. Like I lose a good hour per day, one way to another to being an amputee, whether it's the amount of time to take the leg on and off or something that would take a normal person 30 seconds to do, but takes me five or 10 minutes to do. And it, it all adds up. Like if you want, if you needed to run down to the gas station to buy something and come back real quick, and the gas station's two minutes away, that'd probably be a six minute trip, six minutes for you. That's a half hour for me. I've got to put the leg on, get it adjusted correctly, get out to the van half the speed that you'd be walking, get out all that, and it takes me twice as long in the gas station, and then come back and undo it all in reverse. So I lose an hour every day to that. And then I probably lose another hour every day to the fact that I just have to sleep more now than when I had two legs. I, a lot of my organs were damaged when I, I had my infection and I am definitely recovering. It's been several years now, but I know I need more sleep now than I used to. I used to be able to sleep six, seven hours day after day. And for the most part, I'd be fine. Now I eight hours sometimes or nine hours if I don't make an effort to get up. 
So there, there are some difficulties. Not everybody has the same tools. Luckily, I really good. I think I'm really good at sourcing and spotting the right things to get. And sometimes I spot the wrong things to get too. But yeah. So if you're wondering why you haven't been seeing much of the usual filming area, this is why. I can barely get back there. Okay, let's do some sales. It's Sunday at about 11.30. I've got about $800 going out, not counting a couple hundred dollars in trading cards I shipped last night. Uh, first thing we've got here is an executive fly shooter. Fly swatter, made in the USA, model 7620. Sold this for $19.99 believe this was 50 cents or a dollar pickup at the garage store it does that came in a little box this is not a fast sell item I probably had this for six months before it sold glad to see it getting out of here sold a record album triumph never surrender 539 So an album and a book lotted together. Monty Python's Big Red Book and Monty Python's the album of the soundtrack of the of the trailer of the film Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I stuck these together for 10 bucks and they sold very quickly. Another Triumph album, X Library, Sport of Kings. Got $3.99 for it. You're usually never going to get much for an X library because they've always got all that stuff on the cover. Sold some little plastic card protectors, Dragon Shield Christmas ones with a cat in a window. These are from a few years ago. You can't get them anymore. I got $10.99 for these, which is more than they originally sold for. I believe the original MSRP on this was $6.99. So it's finally spring, so I decided to take my truck out from under the cover for the first time in a year. This is my truck. You don't see me going to garage sales in this. It took me a long time to find one of these. Dodds, Mitsubishi, white and black convertible truck, 1986. I had one of these right outside of high school and then it took me a real long time to find another one. These things normally started rusting as soon as they were produced. They're extremely rare today, especially with an automatic transmission, which I need because of, you know, good old fake leg. Can't shift manual. All right, I'm gonna take these home and get back to the rest of the video. Oftentimes in my videos, I will say that some category or another is a bad category. And I always get pushback from that. But there is a reasoning behind what I'm saying. I am sure every single possible category out there, there are people who are killing it at it. I'm sure there is a full-time Beanie Baby seller out there making six figures. But when I say a category is bad, I think it's bad because if you just had a hundred of average items that you found out of that category. And if they were almost all worthless, that's a bad category. That's why I've said comic books are bad. If a if hundred random comic books landed on my shelf, I may not even be able to find one in there worth selling on its own. And the rest would end up in a bulk lot. That's why I say comics are bad. That's why I say DVDs are bad. Books are bad. It doesn't mean that there aren't good items in those categories. It's just that the categories as a whole are bad. You're not going to see a hundred books on a shelf at a garage sale and say, oh man, I want them all. I'm maybe, maybe you could, maybe it would be the right hundred books, but if it was just the average hundred books, no, they'd have to pay you to take them away. But there are other categories in which almost everything is good. Almost everything is sellable. That's why I tend to specialize in gaming stuff there there aren't any unsellable warhammer figures there 
aren't any vintage board games that are completely worthless. There, there are, well, there are some that are riding the edge of what they cost to ship, but overall, some categories, you know, almost everything in the category is going to be sellable, and in other categories, it's simply not that way. So my last video, I was saying I was almost done with records. Look here, we got the Bee Gees, Children of the World. I bet that's not worth... I bet that's not worth much of anything, despite the fact that the Bee Gees were an absolute hit machine. They just don't seem to get the respect now that they deserved, probably because they were too disco and not rock enough. That's going to be my guess, because that's usually what affects artists long term. If you're too soft, the people don't respect you later. But... <sighs> My record source reminded me after he watched my last video that I still have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of records that I, I already bought from him, but I haven't picked up from his place. I don't know how I got myself confused on that, but I did. So I'll be listing records for some time in the future. Ooh, where did that thing go? Yes, I've got a brass Mardi Gras mask made in India. This sold for $8.99. Sold pretty quick too. It was only up for two or three weeks. Journey Escape sold for $12. Journey always sells pretty quick for me. I've had three Journey Escapes in recent months, and they this is they've all escaped this place this one also escaped its proper location too it was way in the t's in the alphabetical order which is not where it's supposed to be sold the same item twice this weekend warhammer fantasy elf spearman sprues i got 17.99 each for these things the, i mean, wouldn't this look like junk if you bought a collection this was in there i thought the same thing at first and it just let all these things stack up in a corner thought oh maybe i'll build them and paint them later or whatever but nobody's going to want them without the boxes or not sure if they're all there but nope 36 bucks for the pair of these two different customers oh my goodness i get to feel like old school picker with all this stamping up Stamp It Up Whale Wishes, sold for $8.99, plus shipping. Uh, then more Stampin' Up, for a total of $26.97, same customer, little pieces, set of 12. A lot of 32 various bugs and insects, my wife put this lot together. I don't like to sort through the stamps as much as she does, and a set of keys. This this one's actually close to the heart and not stamping up. Marine bought those. And a totally separate Marine with Maureen in the same half hour bought this stamping up Cat's Meow set. So you sell enough things that you'll find all sorts of weird... Uh, Anomalies like that, two, two Marines buying almost the same thing in the same hour, but they're totally different people. Sold a Little Rascals Buckwheat Bobblehead. I'm just going to have to throw this up on the screen because I'm not taking it out of the box because a bunch of styrofoam always breaks off. This was a casino promo item. Uh, we've got Harris Casino here in my area, so these show up a lot here. They were made specifically for casino promo, so they, they didn't come from anywhere else. So, And they're not fast sellers, but they do always sell. My family in the background trying to be quiet. Boston, self-titled. $13.20. Not bad at all. The videos I'm putting in the record listings are really helping to sell them quicker. It's helping me getting higher prices on the better albums and helping those just four and five dollar albums that take six months to sell sell much quicker. Did I miss one? Okay, we got Foreigner, self-titled, $9.99. No problem there. Steve Perry, Street Talk, $7.99. Mm. 
Moody Blue is in search of the Lost Chord, $3.99. I'd have hoped this would been better, but I guess Moody Blues doesn't have the following that they once did. Young guys probably not getting into them. All right, sold a stack of seven records, the same customer for $110. Got Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Kansas, Point of No Return. I've noticed everybody lists this with both N-O in the title and K-N-O-W in the title because people tend to spell things wrong. Kansas, Left Overture. Cheap Trick at Budokan. Cheap Trick apparently has a huge following in Japan, so there's a lot of imports of those and live Japanese shows and such. The Almond Brothers, win, lose, or draw. The Ventures, guitar freak out. And Neil Young, decade. Now, somewhere I sold Weird Al in here too, and I'm not seeing where he's at. Oh, I just missed him in the order. Sold Weird Al Yankovic. Dare to be stupid. Still in partial shrink wrap. Hype sticker on the front. This sold for $44.99. Took about three weeks to get that price. I did I did send out a 10% offer because I had it up at $50. All right, I think we're done with records for now. I sold a model tank for dust tactics and uh a dust tactics sp other assorted war game thing this sold for took an offer of this for 60 dollars, and i believe this was about eight bucks these are going to the same customer in canada these are tanks based on the idea that world war ii kept continuing so they do not match any specific tank in the real world the idea was that that World War II technology kept advancing, so it was like what would have been going on in 1947 had they kept advancing their technology. Sold a lot of Marvel Super Heroes role-playing game items. This is a bunch of incomplete items. It's covers to one item, interiors to another, random maps. Uh, I got $20.24 for this. This took two years to sell. It started at about 40 bucks and it got lowered many, many times because it was a hard item, you know, to find a price for. Really had to look for that specific customer. <sighs> Sold a Star Wars First Order playmat. This is for playing cards or can be a giant mouse pad for crafting. It's got photos, I don't, it's got pictures of stormtroopers on it. Sold a vintage GE uh, clock radio. Wood grain, this works. I got 11.33 for it. These are, when these work, they're always, always great. When they don't work, then they go in the trash. I think I paid a dollar for that. Just got a return request right before it, I did this. Nike dry fit jacket that took me a year to sell without using promoted listings. And the person who's a very new eBay user wants to return it because tiny imperfections on, on you know tiny little imperfections on the interior of this used jacket and the person only has two feedback and one of them's from me i am really tired of clothes i know those returns probably you know if all i did was clothes it wouldn't matter because i'd sell 30 clothing items every day and i'd have something returned i'd probably have two or three returns every day and i'd just be used to it but i don't get a lot of returns so they tend to annoy me when i get them Luckily, he didn't put it in his not as described. He put it in his changed mind. So at least he'll have to pay the shipping back. Asteroids Deluxe Video Arcade Game Marquee Plexiglass. This came off an actual Asteroids Deluxe machine that I purchased at a live auction for $10 about 10 years ago. It was extremely water damaged. It was absolutely a goner. And the only reason I was... It, and 
in that normally even that an asteroids deluxe machine like that would still be worth 100 or 200 dollars because of the parts value but there were so many machines at that live auction that the goners were just basically free you, you would have people in the parking lot begging people to take cabinets away so they wouldn't have to take more than one trip and since I lived really close, I could take more than one trip, so I bought that cabinet, took the good parts out of it, and then I burned the water-damaged hulk in the backyard. It was crumbling to bits, guys. I couldn't have saved it, but this sold for $34.19. I started it at $40, and it got marked down once or twice. I sold a little Zvezda. This is just a miniature kit for some anti-tank guys. Just just a little bitty squad of guys with their little flag and area. Sold for $7.28. Not bad. That's I think that's more than its original MSRP also. They don't make that anymore. I have to throw this up on screen because it's already been packaged because this has already sold twice before. Say Linux pink boom box that apparently the same model of this shows up somewhere in stranger things this does not work the first word in the list first word in the title is not working and then the listing goes on to explain in great detail how it isn't working because i did take it apart and check it out a bit and i figured it is rebuildable but it's not worth my time it probably needs some capacitors replaced and it needs rubber bits for the tape deck. So hopefully this person just wants it as a prop and they actually read the listing. And uh, that's all the sales I got for got for now, so we'll get back to the rest of the video. Okay, I guess that's everything for today. We've got a family event to get out to, so hope to see you again next time. Mm -hmm.